In the minuscule actions of our day-to-day -day lives, there lies the hidden dangers. We are constantly attacked by pathogenic microorganisms, and here to protect us is the toll-like receptors. To understand what does toll-like receptors do, we must find out where they are. In the lab, a scientist is growing mammalian cells under monitored conditions for research purpose. These cells extend out their pseudopodia when they grow happy, as if they have arms and legs. This type of cells is called macrophage. You see, macrophages are like Pac-Man. They eat anything foreign that's in their way. Together with other immune cells, like neutrophils, dendritic cells, and T cells, they form an army of defense for our body, fighting the germs and the bugs. And toll-like receptors are present on all these immune cells, helping them to probe for problems. But just like how guns jam sometimes, toll-like receptors doesn't always work either. Researchers have found these little receptors may actually be the cause of important diseases. If toll-like receptor probes are too sensitive, they start targeting soldiers of their own rather than foreign matters in the body, causing sepsis or autoimmune disorders. Whereas malfunctioning toll-like receptors caused by mutation can induce immunodeficiency and even cancer. So, just like making the decision of firing a gun requires a lot of thinking and responsibility, the body also has to take responsibility for the fine-tuning of the toll-like receptor regulation. And with more and more researchers focused on toll-like receptors, there is hope to beat diseases like cancer and diabetes one day.